Hello, from the studios at Pascual Bravo University. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, we're going to look at collocations. First off, when speaking of collocations, we must understand that there are some guidelines and some structure applies, but this is not a topic that is entirely run by the grammar structure. Collocations can be made up from verbs, nouns, adverbs, and adjectives. They are a combination of words that due to their use became familiar and are richer ways to express an idea. Collocations are blocks of two or more words that often go together. These are accepted combinations. Others may be odd or sound off. Some of the most common combinations are Adverb plus adjective. Example, is Sarah fully aware of the outcome? Noun plus noun. Example, Valentina had a sudden surge of anger. Verb plus adverb. Example, Alejandra vaguely remembers me. Adjective plus noun. Example, Liliana is taking some regular exercise. Noun plus verb. Example, the alarm went off and woke us up. Verb plus noun. Example, Sol gives a presentation about finances. Verb plus expression with preposition. Example, the eyewitness was filled with horror. There are strong collocations, meaning that the link between words is fixed, and weak collocations that mean that a word can collocate many other words, i.e., wish, as a noun, is a strong collocator, so few words can be employed. An example of a weak collocator is big, as it can go with many words. The following are some common collocations. Have, have a good time. Make, make a promise. Get, get a life. Go, go crazy. Save, save someone's life. Other examples are fast food, take a hint, and sit an exam. Collocations are a great way of improving vocabulary and enriching the expression. They are versatile as they can be employed in different tenses, i.e. present to past. Perhaps the most important piece of advice is not to translate them directly, as there is no correspondence. Likewise, collocations can be learned specially, but not exclusively, through reading. Congratulations! Now you understand how to use collocations in English. Good luck!